Assalamu alaikum students how are you i am your math teacher welcome back in the online classes after winter break i hope you all are good happy and fresh and ready to start the work this is your first video lesson for week number 12 now we are going to start unit number 7 that is geometry some topics of this chapter we have completed in first term those were point line ray and parallel line we will continue the exercise here in this term now first just revise what is geometry geometry is a branch of mathematics in which we study about point line ray 2d shape and 3d shape now what is this 2d and 3d 2d mean two dimensional shapes and three dimensional shapes in class 3 here in this book you will study about the basic concepts of geometry these type of figures whenever you see these figures geometry comes in your mind automatically now the first topic we, that we are going to start in final term that is triangles the first shape that is triangle it is a 2d shape it is given in your book page number 188 Now in Greek language, tri means three. So in geometry, triangle is a shape which has three sides and three corners. Any kind of triangle, you can see many figures here, shapes are here. These are all different from each other, but these all have three sides and three corners. Now what are sides? See this one. this symbol is showing this is a side this is a side and this is a side three sides what is corner where two sides meet with each other this is called corner and in geometry we are using another word that is called vertex for the corner so three sides three corner shape in geometry is called triangle this is a triangle this one is this one this one this one in any direction this one this side is here this side is here this side is here and for showing the corner we are using this small arc shape join these two sides this is showing a vertex or a corner of a triangle now when you are study triangle there are different types of triangle in your class class 3 three types of triangles are given here that you will study here the first one is called equilateral triangle what is the meaning of equilateral equilateral is a kind of triangle in which all three sides they are same in length for example this one is 3 cm this one is also 3 cm and this one is also 3 cm here you can see many are there but these are all equilateral here you can also see this one and this central one this one this one this one these are all equilateral triangle a triangle in which all three sides are equal in length they are called equilateral triangle and for showing that these are same in length we are using this small dash on the side which is the representation that all these sides are equal equilateral triangle that is the first kind of triangle given in your syllabus now the second one isosceles triangle isosceles triangle you will feel the spelling a little bit difficult so you have to learn it isosceles triangle 
what is the meaning of isosceles triangle it is a triangle in which two sides out of these three two are similar in length this side is similar to this side their length are same not the third one third one is different here you can see this one is similar to this one here you can see this side length of this side is similar to length of this side so when in a triangle two sides have same length and third one is different we call it as isosceles triangle and to show in figure we are using a small dash on the side which is showing that these are same in length here also here also and here also in this figure another thing is very clearly you can see see to show the corner we are using these arc here these arc here but here it is not arc it is like a square box when sides are straight to each other this side is straight to this side when straight sides are there the corner we are showing with this small square box this is a vertex but this is made by two straight sides so not that arc we are using a small box a square box that is showing the vertex this is also a vertex this is also a vertex but this one is different from these two so here a square box is there and here two small arcs are there showing that these are the vertex or the corner this side is equal to this side in this one this shape this side equal to this side and here this side and this side these two are equal in length their length are same when you draw an isosceles triangle you will draw it as two are equal either both are 4 cm 5 cm 6 cm no problem but two are same in length and third one is different in length that triangle is called isosceles triangle now the first one equilateral second one isosceles in equilateral all three sides they have similar length in isosceles two are having same length now the third one see the name scalene triangle scalene triangle in scalene triangle this is a triangle but what is the difference that all three sides they are of different length size of this side this side and this side it is different from each other same case is here in this diagram here you can see it is written also this side 6 cm this side 4.5 cm and this one is 5 cm all three sides their measurement their length their size is different so this is called scalene triangle this one is also this one is also and this one and to show their different size one dash is here is two here and three here which is showing that these are not same they are different when they were same we are writing uh, drawing the same number like that we have done the previous one here see these two are same these two are same these two are same but here none of these 1 2 3 they are not same so only 1 2 and 3 dash are there which are showing that these are different in length here also in this diagram you can easily see that size of this side this side and this side they are not same with the ruler we can measure and we can write their size also if we have drawn there and you can easily draw such type of triangles that is scalene with three different measurement be careful triangle has three sides and three corners in equilateral triangle all three sides are same in isosceles triangle two sides are equal in length third is different and in scalene triangle all three sides are different from each other in size in length 
you have to identify them and learn their name this is in your syllabus you will feel it interesting and you can learn it easily thank you and khuda hafiz